What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you've been living under a rock for the past couple of weeks, the Olympic Games in Paris just wrapped up and this is the first time ever I kind of got involved with the whole Olympic game thing and let me tell you, it's been a little weird. Lots of controversies, funny viral moments and so many videos and memes online about people adding their opinions and whatnot. And you can never have enough opinions, so I thought I'd add mine to the party. There is no structure to this video. I am gonna react to a couple of funny viral moments from the games and just go over some very public controversies in general. So let's do this. Let's start off with the Olympic Games to happen every four years, arguably the biggest sports competition in our society. And next time in 2028, they're actually gonna be here in LA. So you could say I'm getting into the spirit, making sure I'm gonna be charged up on knowledge and energy when the time is right. But this year they were in Paris and let me tell you there were a lot of complaints about the athletes village which is where all the athletes are staying from the athletes something that i came across and something that went very viral is that all of the rooms in the athletes village had anti-sex beds apparently all the athletes got to sleep on cardboard beds which should prevent them from having sex with each other now my mind went two places first place all of these athletes need rest and a good night's sleep you cannot place them on cardboard that is gonna break your back that's gonna literally impact your performance second place who still has sex in beds? You really think a piece of cardboard is gonna stop a bunch of horny athletes from fucking each other? It's giving grade eight summer camp. Like boys are not allowed in girls' rooms and homosexuality is not a real thing, of course. I mean, picture this, all of these health conscious, body positive people in one place, I'm sure you're gonna find at least one person that you're attracted to. And I don't even see the problem. I mean, they should release a little tension, quite literally, during that tough competition. I think this is ridiculous. Hell no. Second point, apparently the athlete's village does not have air conditioning. For everyone who's heat sensitive, including myself, if I would be one of those top athletes who has to sleep on cardboard, obviously not getting a good night's sleep, and now there's no air conditioning, you're in for the second French Revolution. I mean, that one medalist even slept on a towel in the park because it got too hot and uncomfortable in the room. And yes, Europe is clean and pretty and safe, but it's Paris. Paris is a very big city and there is a lot of crime in Paris. And then, of course, apparently, 60% or so of all the food served in the athlete's village was vegetarian. I'm not against vegetarians in no way, but these are athletes. There is no way you can convince me that the majority of people there don't eat meat like every day. It's all about muscle and strength and body, you know, protein. That's the crowd there. Why do that? And then some athletes apparently complained that there were worms in the food. Let's move on enough about the athletes village. It sounds like a wonderful stay. Someone I loved to observe online at the Olympics was Snoop Dogg as one of the mascots of the US in Paris. I mean, him and Martha Stewart, they got I don't know how good that is. This is incredibly funny. It's super campy to me at least. And it was wildly entertaining. Now let's take a little detour. I never count other people's money. I wish I had the time to, but apparently Snoop Dogg is getting paid around $500,000 a day, excluding other expenses and you know all-inclusive shit. I don't have a problem with that. Celebrity appearances are one of the primary income sources of people in the public eye, believe it or not. But I then looked into how much gold medalists get at the Olympics and that kind of gave me Hunger Game vibes if you compare it to everything. Let's look at the prize money. And you are gonna understand why I say that it reminds me of the Hunger Games because all of these athletes who are training for something so hard, sacrificing so much before they can even grasp the concept of competition, they are getting paid little to nothing if you compare it to what someone like Snoop Dogg is getting who's literally there to hang out and for publicity purposes. We're just gonna go over gold medals, but if you win a gold medal for France, you get around $71,000 nice chunk of money. But here comes more. If you win a gold medal for Singapore, you get 737,000. That is more than 10 times as much. So this has me thinking, I win for France and I can, I don't know what, put a down payment on an apartment in like a C-class area in Paris. And if I win in Singapore, I'm borderline a millionaire. If you win for Italy, you get $197,000, which is a lot of money for Italy. You can get something very nice in Italy. If you win for Germany, you get 21,000. That is less than like a semester at the best private schools in Germany. If you win for Morocco, over 200,000. If you win for Kazakhstan, you get a three room apartment as a silver medalist, a two room apartment as a bronze medalist, a one room apartment. 
Kazakhstan is staying. I don't care what you're winning, you're staying in the country, we're giving you a piece of real estate. If I was one of the athletes, I'd sell it right away and leave. Very interesting, because to me, that reflects how much a win in an athletic field is worth to that country. I did not know it was all different because to me, before I looked into it, I thought that the Olympics were just a big organization, everything is equal, but that's not the truth. But let's get back to where we started. Snoop Dogg is making more than any of these extremely hardworking athletes for whatever he's doing there. I think it's hilarious. I'm not frustrated. I'm not an athlete. I wasn't gonna be America's mascot. I'm not even American. I'm Austrian. Is Austria even in the Olympics? Where is homegirl in this? Did they make it? What does it take to qualify for the Olympics? Like being good at any sport at all? No wonder they're not in there. Let's see. Austria, Olympics, Paris. Um, yeah, zero gold medals, zero silver medals, one bronze medal. For what? I don't even know, for golf. <laughs> Good job, you get my point. Like Austria, kind of irrelevant. Anyways, I think that is so comical. Like the payment difference, you gotta love Western capitalism. Let's do a reaction. Let's react to a very viral moment that I've actually not seen. I just heard about it, wrote it down, looked it up for this video. Apparently a French pole vaulter, I think that's what you call it, vaulter, vaulter. You know what I mean, like the jumping over the pole. He kind of miscalculated his his height or something cost him the medal but his baguette literally like flopped against the pole and it was very graphic and he was as most people would say gifted i have not seen it but apparently adult entertainment sites have reached out to him offering deals for over 200 300 thousand to do whatever with them so let's have a look at this Oh, I think we can all agree that we want some snacks to watch that again. Next up, the logo of the Olympics. I've seen so many funny memes that it looks like this lady. I think it's supposed to be a lady. It's supposed to be a lady with like lipstick, you know, French, haha, red lipstick. Why don't you make the logo with the red lipstick? Well, loud buttons. Like the fact that it's gold, it literally just looks like the logo for a hair salon. I, I didn't get that part. Another viral moment that I came across was this guy in the shooting category. His name is Yusuf Dikek. And let's have a look. He approached this whole thing wearing no headphones, no armor, no nothing, like so many other opponents next to him. Everyone is wearing headphones and they're like preparing to not break anything. He's there, he, he's doing it raw. People are saying no fancy lenses, no headphones, just vibes. And he apparently said in an interview, what can I say, I'm a shooter. Well, Yusuf, I bet you are. I'm not sure if you want anything, but that was hilarious. And apparently he has participated before. This guy cracked me up because he looks so like serious. Now, I know this isn't new, but there were also pregnant participants. There was this one archery lady. I forgot her name. She also said she got kicks from her belly that gave her a good spirit. I mean, all judgment aside, I love things like the Olympic Games or the World Cup because it makes me feel like the world is united. There is so much conflict in the world. There's a lot of war. There's a lot of horrible stuff going on and things like this where so many people from so many different parts come together to kind of compete for one thing. I don't know. It gives me a very comforting feeling. That's why I enjoy watching it. Since I was small, I've always enjoyed watching the World Cup. This was the first year I actually got into the Olympics a little bit. So I think it's beautiful that, you know, no matter where you're from, no matter if you're seven months pregnant or I don't know what this lady was, she was like, like, you know, the turkey was about to come out. They're showing what they can do. They show what they're working for and they have an opportunity to make a name for themselves. Of course, it's so much practice, so much sacrifice, but it is beautiful to see and it is beautiful to see what humans can do. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the Seine. The Seine is the river that goes through Paris and they spend over a billion euros to clean it because for some reason, the government thought the swimming has to take place in the Seine. That is insane. No comment. I've been to Paris a bunch of times coming from Europe. It's like an hour plane ride away if even. The Seine is extremely dirty and this whole thing went viral. People wanted to literally shit in the Seine to protest against that whole thing from happening. It was delayed. Some countries refused actually to participate in that water thing because they were scared for their athletes. And from what I've heard, France is a little harsh to the athletes. If I get sick in the sand, get some virus, get cholera, the black plague or whatever other disease is hiding in there for Christ's sake, I do not want to have to rest 
on a cardboard anti-sex bed because someone thought it was a bad idea to release some tension and then it's hot and there's like who came up with this everything is plant-based anyways they made the same thing happen kind of nasty of course it made some iconic images it looks great but was that really necessary? Like, I loved how they did the horse stuff at Versailles. That, that makes sense, you know, see the country, live, laugh, love, patriotic shit, but this is just, ooh, it could have been avoided. With that being said, I loved looking into this. Absolutely hilarious. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I know this was a little bit of a different video, but I love doing a couple of opinion and reaction videos about very recent and relevant topics, like the Olympics this time. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you've heard of these viral moments. If you guys have any other video ideas, also treats and pastries like I usually do that you would like me to review, get my hands on, I will make it work somehow. Until then, see you soon and take care. Bye.